What about the struggle? We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything black, black bird, black Down, down, <laughs> down. <laughs> I usually, I usually don't like to judge uh, until the final product is seen. But you, you, you for this. I cannot in good conscience talk about Double Toasted Live in LA without showing that image right there. Double oh, Toasted there Live in LA. That's from the art of Moss. He did that art right there. Some of y'all be getting that on a t-shirt, but I'll let you know about that in a little bit. But that show will be April 27th, 8 p.m. at the El Porto Theater for a night of comedy games and that after party. Get your tickets now by going over to DTMerch.com. There's a banner in the center of the page. Uh, click that. It'll take you to X1 Entertainment. Or you can just go straight to X1Entertainment.com. So, everybody fondly remembers this intro and this theme song right here. Not getting hustled. Now here it is. Everybody remember the words here? Oh yeah. Keeping your head on the water. Making a way when you can. To ease your friend and lay off. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh wait a minute. Tip red. Wait a minute. Hold on. Easy credit ripples. Good times. Try to survive it. Ain't we lucky we got em. Doom, 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 doom. Good time! Now we all gotta do the, we all gotta do the, 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 the painting right here. Oh. oh, that's not the one they were dancing. Dancing, no, that, yeah. that one that's and the, the girl the dancing. Out. Yeah, everybody remembers that. And there's two, uh, se there's two alternate lines of that. The Hanging the Challenge is also the, in the welfare line. That's mm. what they first wrote. Uh, uh, well, people, that that's, uh, that is the theme to Good Times, classic show from the 70s about a, a, a black family in Chicago living in the, in the in the projects, constantly trying to get out because they all have so much potential. Uh, you to know, no avail. To no, <laughs> never, never. But you know what? Uh, everybody loves this show, man. Spin well, off a mod. What's that? Spin off a mod. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So someone finally said, hey, Good Times, come here. It's your turn. Uh -huh. huh? Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, you get, get in the remake line. Uh -huh. it's, 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 but I was just about to. No, I, no, you about to be remade. I, rebooted. I'm, I'm you re reimagined all that. No, get your ass over here. It's your I turn. I ain't got my shoes No, on. that's too bad. Get Grab a coat. Come <laughs> on here barefoot. What? No, nah, so people, I'm going to tell you, though. I'm going to tell you, though. I Because uh, uh, some people talking about, no, don't. Th th don't don't remake this. Out of all things out there, please, not good times. Some things are sacred. Don't worry, y'all. I actually feel pretty good about this because, listen, if you're going to remake or recreate, reimagine, reboot, whatever, a classic black sitcom, then it should be led and done by one of the leading voices in the black community, Seth MacFarlane. Oh, that's yes. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, no, Martin, you come on, man. Come on, man, man. He's done so much for us, Martin. <laughs> he found the widest picture yes, of him, too. <laughs> yes. Hey, Nick Rose. Right. I, <laughs> I don't think there's other pictures. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. That's, 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 that's my point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, He's the widest guy ever. But, man. Yeah, people. Seth MacFarlane said, you, you know what you blacks need. You need for me to lead you in a remake or, or a, a, a sequel to good times. Now, I know what you're thinking, why am I the man to do this? Because it's not, it, it's not gonna be just, it is not just going to be a reboot or a sequel of good times, but it's going to be in a format that I, Seth MacFarlane knows, it will be in glorious animation. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be on Netflix. So you know it's going to be good because Netflix has money. You're in very good white ass hands over here. Oh my <laughs> Don't God. you worry about it. I mean, black people, I got you. I got you. After all, I'm the one that is responsible for the Cleveland show. Yes. I with mean, the white actor playing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Start out with a white actor doing the voice. <laughs>
Do I know black culture or what, y'all? <laughs> do boy, do I know you people? My name is Clint. Listen, I, I know he knows seventy sitcoms, but this is one where it's like, brother, stay in your lane. Yeah, there's there's, there's, a, there's a lot of other shows. How about, what about All the Family? That that'd be perfect Martin, for you. You, you. You are really being unfair right here. You think so? Yeah, because you haven't seen the trailer. Yeah, that's true. And you said that early. That's right. Now, you no, know, we talked about this. Keep an open mind, man. You're you shouldn't right, be coming in right. judging like this, man. We are not those kind of people, <laughs> okay? We are not judgmental. No, thank you for reminding me. I am. It's just, if we would just be prejudiced <laughs> mm -hmm. if we came here and prejudged That's what true. Mr. McFarlane has for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderful new reimagining of Good Times. Animated. The animated series on Netflix. I have important news. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shh. Mm. Mm. What about the struggle? We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything black, black bird, black Down, down, down. <laughs> I usually, I usually don't like to judge uh, until the final product is seen. But you, you, you for this. I, I, I will say two things and one is positive. The positive thing is that this in no way makes me think of good times. No. I, I don't even know why it's titled that. It could have a completely different name. It's everything but good times. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, it, it seems to only name check it ever so often, but there's there's not a shred of this that reminds me of good times. So it's super easy to keep these things separate in my head. Uh, and, and the uh, other is that, um, oh, what finger am I got? <laughs> um, <laughs> is that Seth MacFarlane, while he's the producer, he's not the showrunner. It seems to be a, a black woman, uh, so yeah, I, I think not her. Yeah, yeah, I, I they, think this falls on her. Yeah, but they're using his name to sell this. Oh yeah, big, you know, and 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 so, listen, man. If 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 this if this is good, I will take it back. I really will. But this trailer gets a major you from me. If uh, uh, listen, if if this, if this, if this right here, ain't an argument for why diversity is. Necessary that I don't know what is. Yeah, I, um, first off, I just want to say, you for showing me that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, if I got to see it, you got to see it too. <laughs> but number two, uh, being a good times thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's just it's offensive. It's offensive just, on just, its own. Just, yeah, you, know, you could call this anything. Yeah, and I'm be, I'm be like I'm, I'm I'm seriously still like wait is this a joke? Like I, I, I was I was waiting for that too, but it's too late for that. I'm no, gonna tell you, I, 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 I mean. This is, is a good argument for bringing back the boondocks just so they can talk about this. Oh, right. yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say this, man. No, 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 no one. No one needed this remake slash sequel or whatever the hell it is. But if you're going if you're going to do it, and you're going to call it that. If you're going to call it if you're going to put the name on here, good times. Then understand what it is. Understand what the original show is, you know, this, because what I'm looking at this. Right here, this is the anti good times. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Could you not get could you not get the rights for the soul playing cartoon? <laughs> because that's this is yeah, this is that's what, what that's, this that's is, what this is. This is exactly yeah. what we're talking about. This is nothing but uh, stereotype, the yeah, show. Yeah. And and they cram in as many as they can Jesus. every second. They trailer, really can. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. It's, and it's some of on old jokes too. Old jokes and, like, and some, everything is a stretch. And, and, Drug dealing baby. Haven't seen that before. And, and and listen, if you're gonna do these stereotypes, you couldn't you couldn't even dignify them with good animation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why that's what I was gonna say. They yeah. just popping everywhere. Yeah, the animation's I mean, awful. Big question for Netflix. Netflix with all the money, how the f you got better animation than y'all? My sister used to tell all kind of nasty jokes. Say, yeah, I got a call in the middle of the night. How the f we got a better budget than Netflix? Mm -hmm. how, how, how are we doing better work than Netflix? Except unless Netflix is like we ain't giving you. Money? Yeah, I mean, exactly. them, them characters are on. You know, the, if y'all know anything about animation, there's a something. There's frame rate. The normal frame rate is one or two. These characters are on fives and sixes. 
popping everywhere. I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. you couldn't even give us proper anima animation. <laughs> if it's, if, as if you couldn't get more insulting. I, you know, and now here come the assholes. Now here's why I got to explain something to y'all because I watched, I, I was saying this earlier, I watched Good Times almost every night on a rerun channel. And a lot of people are saying, well, you're talking about stereotypes in this show. Well, Good Times was full of nothing but stereotypes. In fact, that's why John Amos, who played James on the show, that's why he left. Because he didn't like the stereotypes that they were doing. No, people. I, and you can attest to this. They, 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 that, that is not true. That is no, not true. No, no. And I'm going to tell you something. If they did, if they did have stereotypes on there, they, 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 they mostly were not the main characters. Well, also, you know, at the end of the day, that show, while, you know, we say it was stereotypical of the ghetto, we had a family that was always fighting to do the moral thing. That that was that was the basis of that the show. That was the basis of the show. John, and, and let me just throw this out there before anybody wants to say that, you know, because that's why John Amos left. John Amos left because he and Esther Rowe were supposed to be the stars of the show. They were losing focus on those two characters. Mm -hmm. It was focusing on J.J. more, on, on Jim Walker's character. And his antics. And his antics. Not not the stereotypes, yeah. his antics, his yeah. comedic antics. And, uh, they, and he was like, this is too much. It's getting away from what yeah. the show's supposed to be about. And that's and I'm gonna follow up with that because that was gonna be my big uh that was I going mean, to that, thunder, No, no, no. I was, that was gonna be my big uh counter argument to anybody out there that's sitting up here talking about good times was uh was 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 full of stereotypes. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all right now, you 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 don't know what you're talking about. You just sitting up here, uh either you like this dumb shit, you're trying to defend it, or you somebody just being an asshole. Uh the thing with good times, as as Martin was saying. <laughs> Thing with Good Times, I'm sorry it's such a bad copy right here, but thing with Good Times is that, you know, this is a show focused on strong family values. Mm -hmm. Everyone had aspirations to do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, little Michael right here wanted to be a Supreme Court justice. Thelma wanted to be a surgeon. Even J.J., as much as everybody talking about maybe J.J. was the buffoon of the show, he really was not. He wanted to be an artist, a he painter. Was, he yeah. was a good artist. He yeah. didn't get yeah. paid. Remember, they, they paid him to do a mural at the library. Whatever yeah, it was, he was he always taking commissions it. and whatnot. Yeah, he was, uh, he was going to school. You know, there was a time when uh, John Amos left the show. He was the head of the household. And he was, you know, he yeah. was trying to do right by everybody. I've yeah. seen J.J. be a very supportive character. Uh, J I, James was a hardworking father. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, this like uh, you know, this is if the show went down in quality, of course, when, when John Amos left. But you know, these characters did step it up. You know, JJ was coming in and trying to do his best to support the family. Uh, uh, Esther Rowe as as Florida, she was uh, she she was a strong black woman. Uh huh. The the thing that these these quote unquote stereotypes uh, wasn't or weren't is trifling. Yeah, and it looks like everybody in in this animated it's show is trifling. Yeah, exactly. You know, the, the the thing that I probably didn't like about this is that every time they were about to get out the projects, they always had a setback. That was just the, right. you know, that mm -hmm. was almost the gimmick Until of the, the show. Very end. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Gilligan's Island. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, of the project. Well, okay, so if they're not the projects anymore, you don't have a you show. You don't have yeah. a show, yeah. But these characters mostly carried themselves with dignity, man. You know, they, the, the, you know, the, the, this, what we have here is just saying, Martin, you know, this, this is just, these characters were in the projects, but they were not project stereotypes. Mm -hmm. They were always trying to do better. They had high aspirations. You know, they tried to be positive and hopeful. This ain't nothing but hood stereotypes right here. Yeah. That's all we're looking at. Yep. And it's not even the same kind of humor. I mean, this is not good times. It's not. Uh, it's, it's very cynical to say, like, well, once all those characters got older or passed on, this is what the family fell into. Right. Yeah. Drugs and selling drugs yeah. and acting stupid yeah. and acting a damn fool and buffoons and all that. And I'm gonna tell you, man, John Amos, when he left the show, yeah, he didn't like to focus on JJ. He didn't, you know, he felt he felt like he did feel like the that the it was being put on his antics and taken away from Michael and Thelma, uh, who were who seemed to be the more serious characters. He said, Well, that's just not a reflection of my family. it's not a reflection of my family. Things would be different. And everybody's all right. I understand. But your family's not a TV sitcom. <laughs> you know, it's reality. Uh, I understand, you know, what he's coming, where he's coming from. I'm critical of how blacks are used for humor in certain things. Uh, and here's this quote right here that, you, you know, that you were talking about, uh, uh, Billy. You know, my early departure from the show, I felt that with two younger children, one of whom aspired to become a Supreme Court justice, that would be Ralph Carter, Michael Evans, and the other, Bernadette Stannis. Thelma Evans, who aspired to become a surgeon, 
The differences I had with the producers of the show, I felt that there was too much emphasis being put on JJ and his chicken hat saying dynamite every third page. When just as much emphasis and mileage could have been gotten out of my other two children in the cock the cockamitten jokes and humor that could have come out of that. In a way, he's right because, you know, humor and buffoonery is, you know, the, the toll of that is harder when it's portrayed, portrayed by black people than it is for other people out there. The stereotypes hit harder. But at the same time, uh, there were limitations in what black people do. They were limited by the format of the show, you know, the setting of the show. And also... I get a lazy thing out of that from him when he's saying. I, I get more of a... We went for the easy, lazy joke instead of the good ones, the yeah. positive ones. I mean, I, that's why I, I get a lot, a lot of that there too. Well, I see what you're saying. Well, I think it's just a lazy product of some uh, of the of of the sitcom. You know, yeah. If somebody has a catchphrase that catches on with that, America. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, they're gonna lean on that. Unfortunately, at a, it gets to a point in a lot of sitcoms where a character their catchphrase becomes popular and they become the focus of the show. Now, it's also another black show. Urkel is one of the yeah, biggest examples. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, do that. that ain't the first one. I mean, you can go down a list where there's a lot Happy of characters. Days did it. Uh, bang Zoom to the moon, Alice. Uh, how you doing? You know, Joey from Friends. Hello, Newman. Kiss My Grits from, uh, y'all yeah. wouldn't remember that show, but that's a show called Alice. Alice. There's Dynamite. I Know Nothing from Hogan's Heroes. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha from the Brady Bunch. Nipping the bud. Suit up, Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother. Up your nose with a rubber hose yeah, from uh, yeah. uh, Welcome, Welcome Back, Carter. Back Carter. Yeah. Um, you got it, dude. You know, uh, Michelle Tanner. But more so, like when you talk about like Joey from Blossom and 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 uh, Fonzie, Fonzie, people yeah. who weren't yeah. meant to be the focus of mm -hmm. the show. Like you got like Ralph Cram and he. It's his yeah, show. yeah, it was his show. But, but Fonzie did take over the show. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He did take over the show. As a yeah. Matter of fact. Like, <laughs> Ron Howard took off. They're like, we are, bye. <laughs> yeah. You know, and yeah. then it, it didn't make any sense. Why are you still living with his parents, man? <laughs> yeah. you, you, you're already gone. Yeah, you know. Fonzie was, hey. Right. You know, and everybody loved Fonzie. And Fonzie ended up being like the big... Uh, the big, uh, the big uh, uh, character on the show that everybody so he focused on. Jumped the shark, remember? He glit He's the one that started <laughs> yeah, that yeah, phrase. Yeah, jumped so the shark. Jumped the shark. Yeah. Uh, 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 water skin with a goddamn leather jacket. On. Yeah. And boots. <laughs> and yeah. Boots. Yeah. That's if y'all want to know where the phrase "jump the shark" from, it comes from a, uh, a character on a sitcom, Fonzie, who when they ran out of stuff to do, they had him jump <laughs> take Over a shark. A shark. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you type in Fonzie, they put Fonzie jumps the shark, man, on uh, Happy Days. You can find the clip here <laughs> yeah. on. It's like you can mark the in a, in a damn leather jacket and some hot pants. No, no, no. <laughs> leather jacket and some hot pants and some booty shorts on. Uh, and, and, yeah. and, and, and Henry Wick was all too happy to do it. But yeah. uh, it didn't like Ron Howard come back from that episode or something? Because he wasn't he already uh, off the show? Yeah, well, well, they, they showed him. They showed him, yeah, right. No, I, mean, I, I mean, I thought maybe he came back for this episode yeah, like I don't he was remember. guesting or something. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't remember. But, but his face, yeah. like, you're right. He's like, like so. Like, really? Hey, like, Rob, are we doing this? We're really doing this, huh? Yeah, hey, um, I'm definitely going to be a director now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, I can't Make believe sure this, this shit. Yeah. I, I told him I didn't want to do this. They going to make I'm me not, do it anyway. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> they got me out here doing this dumb shit. These booty shorts and leather jackets, jumping the fake ass. Hey, they got me hey, this Dennis the Menace hey, t shirt. Anybody remember? <laughs> <laughs> look at all cool. Oh, I got this shit on. Yeah. Like eight year old man kid right now. Yeah, right I know. Up. Face looking all old. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody remember me? Yeah. The star of the show. Bro. Right, but yeah. yeah no, so, y'all talking about JJ you know, being uh, the stereotype. No, um, listen, all t t sitcoms have a tendency when they run too long, they jump the shark. Sure. As exemplified by a character that went on too long and jumped the shark. So don't sit up here and try to use that. Well, yeah, man. Well, they were, you know, they were always stereotypes on good times back. No, they weren't. No, they good times was actually pretty progressive. Mm -hmm. They talked about all kind of black issues, yeah, especially Michael. Realistic. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to hear that shit from y'all, man. Don't, don't, don't even, don't even, man. <laughs> the only unrealistic thing is they didn't get robbed more. Living in the projects, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like there wasn't enough crime, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they, yeah. like, we can't do that every week. Yeah. So <laughs> this, listen, I, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe this will be something that's okay 
if you take the name Good Times off of it, you know? No, it won't. No, no. 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 That's, I, the, that's the thing I, I was looking at. I was like, okay, this no. doesn't remind me of Good Times at all, but just as a show, I, I find it's offensive and not funny. It, it looks like what I really don't like about Adult Swim. Uh, yeah. Well, Adult Swim, if you get something that's completely black for them, it's edgy to have number stereotypes. Mm -hmm. or like you say the N word a lot. Uh, you know, that's because they edgy, you gotta be edgy black. And so they really get back and, you know, they really relish in the stereotypes. This looks like a Adult Swim show. It don't look like Good Times. Out of here with Boy, this, man. You, you, you ain't lying about that animation. Well, I don't even know if I can call it animation. Man, that's that's yeah. bull, it's, it's garbage. It's moving. Yeah, it's yeah. garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. It's, 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 it's two draws. Yeah. They had them. Do you see them dudes running in yeah, there? Yeah, I saw those dudes running. I was like, oh my God. Shit. They said, we ain't animating all that. <laughs> look, yeah. look at that. It's yeah, two draws. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> man, all the could, same person. You couldn't put a third drawing in there at least. To give it at least some feeling of somewhat. And, and, oh. and, and, you, know, you compare it to something like the Boondocks, that animation. Yeah. It's like. And you didn't probably didn't have half the budget. Yeah, right. y'all. I'm, I'm. I'm. That's really. I nice. listen. I, I. I'm. I'm probably. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm. Uh, maybe I'm going overboard with my feelings right here. But I'm sickened by this. I really am. This is the kind of shit that I talk about all the time. I that we. Say. We are more than this. This is the kind of stuff we should be trying to get away from. And then you got these people coming. You always got somebody coming here thinking that this is the we. This is all we got to be. But it's it's satire. It's it's commentary. It's, yeah. sorry, it's, it's tragedy. At, and I'm looking at that voice cast. There's a lot of motherfuckers who don't need the money. Dude. Yeah. And by the too. way, in addition to the the one the producer you're talking about there, Ste uh, uh, Stephen, Stephen Curry. Curry. I know. Is, is also one of the the yeah. NBA player. Is also one of the producers on here. Everybody today talking about you know uh, 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 Seth MacFarlane needs, needs his ass beat and then move over and let's have a talk with you, Mr. Yeah. Curry. I don't I don't understand this man. I would I. I just me, and like I said, maybe there's something here. I I, I always like to keep just a, you know a small percentage, just in me case I'm too. wrong. And sometimes trailers mislead you, but I'm sorry, there's just too much here that that goes against anything I ever want to see. I'm yeah. I'm upset this, that this even exists in this day and age. Yeah, you're right. I'm, it's, it's it's what, current, I just feel like I don't want to see this shit. It is not my thing. Maybe I'm just I'm I'm just a little biased. I am, you know me. I'm very 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 hard on things. When I see something that I think is like portraying black people the way that where we should be kind of moving on, and some people say I do it too much. I'm sorry. This is if you can't see it with this, then I don't for know. Real. But hey, if I'm wrong, if I am wrong, and I and listen, I I'm not one. I can't speak for anybody else. There's a part of me that says I can be wrong. I really, I really do. I'm, I'm not wrong. I, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I, in this room, we all agree with each other. Yeah, I don't think I, you're overstepping. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I like, I'm just like, I'm speaking for myself. I'm I get my, myself. I'm gonna get shit on for this, but I, I will say, hey, listen, I don't know, I don't know, but for that's for the show. If the show's any good, yes, okay, you got me. I take everything I said back. I will be a fair person, but for this trailer, you can kiss my ass. We'll see. We'll see, yeah, and I, I, I and, and I, I will watch this because you know we, <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, because we want to know what we're saying. Now no, we talk so much. No, about I, it. Well, I have to watch this now. If we, we the people don't want us to review it, we're gonna have to watch it because we talk so much shit. And I will, like I said, I'll be fair. I will go. I will. I have no biases when I go into anything because I know I can be wrong. So I'll watch you know, I, you know. I can be wrong. Yeah. I'm not this time, but <laughs> um, I could be wrong. I'm like I guess, hey, I'll watch y'all's review. Yeah. I'll watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see what well, we'll see, y'all. We yeah, will we'll see. see. It's right. uh, this is gonna be uh, when is this coming out? Oh, April well. something. You know what? Computed could April thirteenth, fifteenth, fourteenth. The computer even said, "I can't take this yeah, shit yeah. no more." Computer <laughs> even crashed. Yeah. I can't do nothing with the computer right now. The computer, the computer looking like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't do. I can do nothing with this right now. So I guess this is the point where we uh, yeah. we are out of here. Look at this, y'all. I'm trying to do anything. That, com that computer said, so "I can't watch this shit no more." Yeah. You keep rewinding this. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Good so, for you, computer. Yes. All right. Maybe, maybe I don't need to get this fixed. It's <laughs> <laughs> trying to tell yeah, you something. Right. Yeah, this is a very smart machine right here. Well, you made it to the end of the video. That must mean you really like what we do. So if you do, check out these other videos just like this one. Check out our other YouTube channels and subscribe to join our wonderful Toasty community. And as always, stay toasty.